you haven't done so yet, please pause the video and attempt the question before moving on. We can begin this question by drawing a picture. So we have an arrow that is initially moving to the right with a velocity of 35 meters per second. The target is moving in the opposite direction. The question stated that its speed is 2.5 meters per second, but because it's moving to the left, we have to make sure we call that velocity negative 2.5 meters per second. After the collision, the target is brought to rest, so its final velocity is zero, and the arrow continues its rightward journey at some unknown velocity that we're trying to find. Now, since this is a collision, we can use the conservation of momentum, which states that the total final momentum of the system is equal to the total initial momentum of that same system. Of course, momentum is mass times velocity. We've used subscripts of A for the arrow, and T for the target, and then F for final, and I for initial. So at this point, we could either plug in the known values or we could isolate the final velocity of the arrow and then plug in the known values. In this case, we'll plug in the known values and then solve for the final velocity of the arrow. The mass of the two objects was given. We know the arrow is 22.5 grams and the target is 300 grams. Because they're both in grams, it turns out we can leave them in that unit rather than having to convert them into kilograms. And we have 300 times zero, which can eliminate. We can use our calculator to simplify the right side. And then finally, we can divide both sides by 22.5. And we see that the final velocity of the arrow is approximately 1.67 meters per second. Thanks for taking the time to watch the video. If you liked it, please subscribe to the channel. Also, you are welcome to send in your own question to the email address shown on the screen.